Before I get started with this video, I want to let you know that this is my first volume of Generations of Failures. As y'all can see in this video, now this video is a little bit older. Um, the guy is officially crossed over into history. But you see at least three generations of failures right here. And I know some of you will be like, how? You know, well, well let's start out. You have the young man. And I can't show the whole thing on YouTube, but y'all know y'all know what he did, and y'all know how he ended up crossing over the history. But by watching this video, five seconds in, I could tell he didn't grow up without no father, more than likely. No father, no coach, no mentor, because you're arguing with this lady, and it looked like the argument was about some food. Now, any rational man. We'll be like, you know what? Whatever we eat into it, well, it's not that deep. We just here to get some chicken, you know, and we're going to get our chicken and go home. But no, he want to keep arguing and threatening and threatening to put his hands on the, on the lady. Now, the lady. You have a man that is literally threatening you. He's warning you. And the proper way to handle this is not to keep challenging him. But to stop talking and either A, ask for help. And call the police, you know, the boys in blue, you know, call them, have them come help you. But no, you know, she's steady trying to argue with this, with, with, with this man. And we all know that. Men, a lot of men today, they don't know how to control their, their emotions. They act in a way that how their mothers would act. And as you can see on, you know, not on YouTube, but anywhere else, he goes to, you know, unfortunately, put his hands on his, on, on his, on his sister. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because you can tell, or, or at least after I watch the video again, I see... A couple of older black men, they see what's taking place and they turn their backs and they start running. Nobody wants to intervene. Nobody wants to stop this brother, you know, to get off this sister. No, they everybody turns around, and walks off. And on top of that. The people that's making the food, they don't call the police. Nobody. They just keep making the food because they know what y'all are. Y'all know what y'all are. They know what most of y'all are, unfortunately. You know, and it took her uh, teenage son to be man enough to actually defend his mother. But why couldn't them older men do that? They was in a, at least look like they was in their fifties. They grew up in a whole different era. Y'all gonna let this happen? And then y'all wonder why. Don't nobody respect us. Nobody's scared of us. They do whatever they want. Because this is how y'all act. Now, everybody was in the wrong. Everybody was there except for that, that, that teenage uh, young man who was defending his mother. Everybody else was clearly in the wrong. Multiple generations of failure. And some of y'all will come in my comments and, and, and argue against that. But how can you argue against something like this? Now, the brother with these long dreads in his head who crossed over to history, I bet he had no money for, for a funeral. Family got to do an egg drive. You know, mother, the mother and uh, got, got to scramble money. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Half these people, when they die, they don't even have a tombstone. You got to wait five years to get $1,200 for a tombstone. But they want to be all tough. See, why can you act like this towards uh, the people who uh, Trayvon Martin and these brothers like that? Why, why won't your frustration be taken out that way? You know, but no. I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I got more videos like this coming soon. Tell me what y'all think.